Arizona's family starts with breaking news. All right, thanks for joining us here at 10 o'clock. We're going to begin here this evening with a large police presence in Central Phoenix. Yeah, the major intersection at Central and Camelback swarming with police. We have been following this for the past hour. Our Michael Romandi just got to the scene. Michael, what have you learned so far? Uh, so we're not exactly sure why police are out here at this point, and you can hear fireworks going off in the background. That's what that is. We're right next to Steel Indian School Park, and the big firework display is happening. But there is this large police presence, so let's show you what we're talking about here. I mean, we're seeing lots of cars just lined up on the middle of Central right now. We're working to figure out exactly what's going on here when it comes to this police investigation. Uh, hang on one second. It looks like we've just got some new information from Phoenix Police. Let me take a look at uh, this new information we got. Uh, so Phoenix PD just saying that they found a man who was shot, another man who was found with a potential stab wound in this area. So the fire department responded. They have transported a stab wound victim to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. We are told the man with the gunshot wound died from his injuries on scene here, again, on Central. So I'm sorry it's very loud here. There's looks like maybe a finale of the fireworks show at the park nearby. There are lots of people lined up looking at the fireworks. That is why you're hearing cheering here. But again, it sounds like someone was fatally shot here on Central Avenue tonight. Another person was stabbed. We are told by Phoenix police this new information just now. So they are working right now to find leads on a suspect in this situation. So again, a man shot and killed, another stabbed here on Central. The road is closed right now. That is the new update from Phoenix Police. I'm going to try and see if we can get some other people nearby who maybe saw what happened here. Uh, for now, I'm going to send it back to you guys in this video. We're going to work to try and get some more information out here live in Central Phoenix. And Michael, I just wanted to stay with your live picture just for a second because you mentioned that huge uh, 4th of July event nearby at Steel Indian School Park. They usually accept, uh, expect 30 mm -hmm. or 40,000 people to a show up at that each people. year. So we heard the finale of the fireworks there. Uh, this is sure to create somewhat of a chaotic situation with the roads closed, a major police investigation underway, and tens of thousands of people heading home from that 4th of July event tonight. Uh, you know, we mentioned we just got that update from police moments ago, so we don't know what led to the shooting and stabbing there tonight, whether it involved people who were at that celebration or maybe were just in Central Phoenix. Uh, but again, uh, to recap, uh, one person dead, one person in the hospital, Central and Camelback uh, shut down. I did read at the very end of that press release that police are saying that this is not connected okay. to the event at Indian School Park. Uh, like you had said, there are tens of thousands of people that go there, but in that release that was just released to us, Within the past minute, police did say that this is not connected to the festivities that were taking place at the park earlier this evening leading up until tonight. Again, Michael, uh, live for us out there right now at Central and Camelback getting more information. We'll continue to keep you updated as more information continues. Uh, as we know, Central is closed off, but the light rail does seem to be operating in that area right now. And it's full. A mm -hmm. lot of people rely on the light yeah. rail to get to big events downtown. So a lot of those folks uh, heading home from the 4th of July celebration there tonight. And we'll